Now, before all is said and done in the presidential elections, the votes will be counted in several states. News 8's LaMonica Peters has more on the laws and regulations that surround the recount process in those states. There are multiple states still in play three days after Americans cast their vote for president, and now those states are preparing to recount their ballots. I'm going to tell you about some of the steps those states will take to make sure that every vote is counted. With a margin that small, there will be a recount in Georgia. Georgia Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger says the difference in votes between President Trump and Vice President Biden is only a few thousand, prompting the state to issue a recount. In Georgia, candidates have two days to request a recount after votes have been certified, and the margin must be less than 0.5 percent of the total votes cast. But the job of elections directors in this office is to count every legal vote, follow the law, and assure that every legal vote is counted. It's important to note that recounts are a normal part of the election process, and it's done to ensure that the first count was accurate. A tight race in Pennsylvania will also likely lead to a recount, with numbers there changing every day. In Pennsylvania, the Secretary of State can automatically order a recount if the margin of votes is less than half a percent. Voters can also petition for a recount, and if three voters in one precinct file a petition claiming fraud or error, it can be sent directly to a state court. Meanwhile, officials in Georgia say they have a November 20th deadline to certify votes before they start the recount. The counties need to certify their election. So they take that, they give us a bunch of paperwork, they do the reconciliations, they make sure they have everything right. There are at least five other states that could also hold a recount. Nevada, Arizona, North Carolina, Wisconsin, and Michigan. With so much hanging in the balance, it'll be up to each candidate, the voters and the states, to follow the guidelines for a recount. None of the state officials can say for sure when this process will be complete. However, Georgia state officials say they expect the recount and certification to be complete by mid-December. LaMonica Peters, News 8.